What's up guys? It is me Shauna. Welcome back to my channel or welcome in if this is your first time watching one of my videos. Um, in this video we will, we will be doing the house tour for Amina and Omar's new home. This is from my single mom let's play. If you have not been watching that let's play please make sure to check it out. I will leave a link below and I will also put it in the eye for you to go ahead and click on it somewhere in this video um but anyway we're going to keep it short this is just going to be a simple house tour and then the brand new episode of single mom will be out on thursday at 4 p.m as always so let's get into it Okay, so here we are at the front door, but I do want to show you. So I like first added these little seating areas out here just so, okay, really? <laughs> just so they can have somewhere to sit if they wanted to just come out and sit in the front. I left this little swing, swing set there because I really thought that it was cute um, for the kids. I may move it in the back, but for now, I really like it out in the front. So I'm just going to leave it there for now. And then when you walk into the front door, oh, our happy place, let's go into their happy place. All right, so when you walk into the front door, you know, this is the little opening. And we just have our little table there with some little decorations. We have our mirror and just a little seating sofa there. On this side we have a painting and just like you know a plant things like that so um, the next room we're gonna go ahead and go into is the room that I mean and Omar are actually in and this is going to be their family room so here we are they just have their TV there got the PS4 got a Google home got the sanitizer Rona still out there uh, come over here this is just gonna be their sitting area if they want to read a book something like that got a little painting as well hey lovebirds they don't care um, on this wall here I'm gonna have some paintings like well not paintings but probably some pictures of them and the kids that's why I left it blank for now until we get that done cuz right now they have no pictures so we're going to get that taken care of maybe in the next episode. I don't know. Or I may just do it before. Um, here we just have like a little half bathroom. Nothing crazy. It's just like a little half bathroom. That's all. For them to come in here. Um, the next room we are going to go into. So this little room here is just like sort of going to be like the art room where they're going to be learning different styles of music, painting, drawings, things like that. So um, we they really want to get the kids into a lot of extracurricular activities. They want them to learn the piano and guitar. And of course, Amina wants someone to take after her with the painting skills. So we're just going to be incorporating that um, with the kids as well. We have Tiana's chore chart, making sure she's doing exactly what she needs to be doing. And then we're going to go ahead and start in this room here, which is Amina and Omar's room. So right here, we just have, you know, their dresser, their hamper, a painting. This door here leads out to the backyard and their little patio area. They have a fireplace and the TV in their room. Um, a lot of the blank wall space is going to be filled up with um, some of their pictures. And then we have their bedroom or their bed. We're in their bedroom. <laughs> they just have their shoes on the floor, you know, alarm clock. Omar is always on his water because we know he loves to work out. Um, so, yeah, very simple yet extremely cute for the both of them. Mina got her purse on the on the door. And then in this room right here, it is just their their bathroom. Um, so this is their bathroom. Here we go. And then the shower is on the other side. Let's come back out. 
All right, so that's their room. Let's come on out. And here we go. We're going to go in this room next. And this, um, we're going into the twins' room. So at first, I was going to split them up and I was going to let them have their own room. But I feel like they're still babies. So that would mean that one would have to be upstairs and then one would be down here. And I really didn't want that. Um, so, and I didn't want both of them upstairs yet because, of course, they're still little. So I was like, you know what? I think it's fine for them just to share their own room until they get a little older. And then, you know, we'll split them off into their own room. But for now, they're going to share. So on this wall, you know, we just got some paintings. They have their little kitchenette set. And then Amina um, put, you know, just some learning things on there for them to learn their months. And then on this side, we have their little height chart. We want to start keeping their height and just like some little play area play area they have their changing table with some diapers the purple box and some pull-ups because we about to start the potty training um, we got the breast milk pouch because you know they're still on that breast milk when they go over to Drew's house she has the pump enough for them um, and then we just got their clothes hanging up there and then on this wall I just um, really wanted it to look like a kid's room so I was sort of went with like a jungle theme almost for the wall I just love that for them um so then here we have like their little dresser they have some more toys just on the floor if they wanted to color they wanted to paint because we know that they always spill and paint on the floor anyway so now hopefully they just do it on the paint paper and make a drawing so and then over here we just have their beds we took them out of the cribs we are going to try toddler beds for them um, since they are getting a little older we just wanted to start you know making the moves to actually being a bigger toddler so we got them a toddler bed and they're out of the crib and just some more blocks more areas to play and some books up there and of course on this wall will be their pictures that's why it is blank so yeah this is the twins room all right now let's come out of here all right and in here is just another half bathroom um, we got the potties for the kids because again we're gonna start potty training them and this is also gonna be for Taina when she's down here we have our scale because you know my girl Amina is on her weight loss journey okay so now in here we have Amina's little area where she's going to be working. She really wants to get more intentional with writing her books, things like that. But of course, if she's down here, then the kids will have to be, you know, down here as well so she could keep an eye on them. So they are going to be over here. Remember when the kids used to just run around going outside when they shouldn't even be? Uh, no. Now, <laughs> they're going to be right in this playpen. It's not going to be a lot of running around no more. They're going to be right in that playpen. Um, so she just put some books down here. She got a lot of toys in the playpen for them. If they're out of the playpen, they still have things. They can ride the horse. They can, you know, um, play with the little dollhouse. You know, they just got more stuff to catch their eye. Got their colors over there. Got their shapes right there. Because, you know, we just, we got to get them ready. We got to get them ready. Oh, of course, in the alphabet. And then they have a little toy box. So, Yeah. All right, so next we are going to roll on into the kitchen. And y'all, we're still downstairs. We still haven't even made it upstairs. <laughs> all right, let's go into the kitchen. So here we have all the kids' favorite food. Um, we have their chips, water, drink, um, some little coffee, frappuccinos for Amina and Omar. We have their cereal. We got some noodles for when Amina just don't feel like cooking, they could get them a pack of ramen, period. So this is just like that little area. Over here we have their coffee bar. Um, Amina loves making coffee. So now that she has her own little personal coffee maker, she could do that. Um, and then we just have their little sitting area and the little eat-in kitchen. So we have this little table here, super cute. And we got the wine area for when the kids are with Drew or when the kids are asleep. And Amina and Omar just wanna wind down have a little fun of course the Jack Daniels that that's Omar's you know he's a whiskey man what can I say 
he's a whiskey man okay but anyway this is the kitchen they have a beautiful beautiful kitchen so we have there some little sweets that Amina had cooked the kids love cheese balls so they got that oh, they got some more wine yes <laughs> they got some protein powder because we know that um, Omar is really big on health and Amina is also getting into her health and weight loss journey that's why she have her slim fast we got some snack packs for the kids on the counter as well and you know they just have their air fryer and just like you know some little stuff around the house I didn't really want to junk up and clutter up their counters too much um, but I just put like some realistic things that they're gonna need some sugar you know spices things like that all right okay so next place and the last place for downstairs besides the backyard is the dining room so of course Amina and Omar are on their grown woman and grown man status so I really wanted this house to be mature enough for them I wanted it to you know just be their home I really wanted to make it a home so I wanted them to have a really big and nice dining room so um, this here is their dining room they had they have their china cabinet right here they have some pictures they have this gorgeous mirror on the wall that I just thought fit in here perfectly um, the plant you know they have their little curtains out here this room I is it's just so pretty and elegant and I just love it I love it for them like if they wanted to do some nice family dinners they could do it here and they could all sit down here that's why I have the high chairs as well for the kids um, so they can all just literally have a complete family dinner we'll see if that worked because we know how the Sims are so <laughs> we'll see if it works um Okay, so let's go ahead and go out to the back yard instead of um, instead of upstairs. So let's just take care of everything downstairs and then we'll go um, upstairs. So anyway, you come out from Amina and Omar's room and you have this little patio area here. They have their grill. They got some charcoal over here. They have a swing where they can just sit if they're grilling. They don't want to go out all the way out into the yard. Um, that's the shed. We'll look at that in a minute. Um, this actual this part here actually came with the house and we just decided to keep it. Maybe um, Amina will get interested in gardening and then we can, you know, we could build on to that. But I just kept it for now just in case she may be interested um, at some point. And then we have our little sitting area here, you know, when it's just not a nice summer day, nice fall day, they could come out, you know, just on the fire pit and just relax and have some nice family time. Or they could be out here just chilling while the kids are over here playing. Um, so we have their little play area here and then the toddlers definitely have enough to play with out here as well. This also came with the house and I just decided to leave it because... I mean, it's it's perfect for the kids. This is was one of the main reasons that Amina and Omar fell in love with this house, um, because they just had a lot of room for the kids, a lot of things for the kids to do outside as well. So I decided to um, leave this, and then here we have our pool area. Um, I did make the pool a little bigger because it just looked more like a box, and I didn't like that. So I just made it just a little bit bigger, added some swim step pool steps um, because it didn't have it at first so I really wanted to add that in for Tiana and um, the family you know just so it's safe for them to get in and out of the pool um, and then they just have their little floaties right there for when they are ready to get into the pool so uh, they have a gorgeous huge backyard it's so much room in this house I absolutely love it so now we are going to go ahead and head upstairs alright y'all so we are upstairs the first thing as soon as you walk upstairs you have another door that leads out into the balcony this part here hasn't really been decorated yet I think I'm just gonna add like a lot of workout um, stuff out here for Omar and Amina just so they can just have that room outside work out in the fresh air 
um they do have like a little covering if it rains so i think they'll be fine i'm just gonna like sort of put it up toward the house have like a little maybe a little seating area out here but i do just mainly want this to be like their little workout area um and then they can just look out into the backyard while they're working out of course i may add like um another easel out here if she wanted to do like a natural painting she can take some inspiration from um nature you know outside so let's head on back in and i guess the first room we can go into is this one which this one is miss tyena's room so with tyena um i love 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 the way i did her room it is just first off this is the wall and all of her things she has like a little seating area over here she has her dresser um she has a table with her coloring book here's a window she got some blocks over there she has her little tent if she wanted to come you know and just sit down or take a nap she got her toys right there um i also love this wall here as well and then we have her bed her bed is here and you know my girl my baby's still a toddler so she is also still in the toddler bed but I wanted to give her like a big girl toddler bed so that's why I went with that one um she has some books that's on the wall as well I got a lot of inspiration from like rooms that I um googled and I sort of just like took bits and pieces of things that I saw because y'all when I was decorating and when I was decorating this house I just went blank for a lot of rooms I was just like it's too much space I don't know what to do where where do I need to, where do I need to go like it was a struggle so I did google and get some inspiration for a lot of the things that um are here especially this side I um got the inspiration from a picture that I saw on Google and I really loved it um so that's pretty much where all of this inspiration came from the bed was pretty much exactly like that it just wasn't pink it was like wood frame but it was gorgeous so I sort of took inspiration from that um and then she has her tablet there and on this side she just has her little kitchen area of course that wall is blank because it is going to be filled with her pictures um i spelled her name miss tyena um she has her chair whenever she wants to come and have a seat she has just more toys i put so many toys in her room because my kids have been lacking in the toy area and now that amina is you know she's becoming more financially stable with Omar coming in and they're both just working on their finances they you know are able to buy things that Amina was only able to buy with Drew but now they're actually coming working together Amina has her own and Omar has his own as well but they're coming together you know to make it better for the kiddos so yeah this is Miss Tyena's room all right so next um let's see where do i want to go next i'll just follow the doors <laughs> so here we have the kids bathroom uh really taina's bathroom um so here we go um really pretty I'm tried to make it childlike really a lot of colors um so we have some paintings there this is their shower when they're where they will be taking their bath uh, some pictures there and then in this little room we just have you know the toilet some more little knickknacks that we need and then a potty chair as well um all right and then we're gonna come out of here and we are going to go here and this is um going to be tiana's little office space right so she has a voice that she wants to become a youtuber of course that wall is blank because it's going to be pictures at it <laughs> so she has voice that she wants to be a youtuber and she also wants to be a twitch streamer so she wants to be like a little gamer girl so we turned this room into her little office she's gonna do her youtube over here and then she'll just do like her little streaming things like that um at her desk area so this room is basically all hers 
She can also come here, do her homework, you know, look up things on the computer, do whatever she needs. She has her snacks for when she's streaming and she, you know, just needs to throw a little something in her mouth. Um, she got her notebooks and magazines, her candles, you know, she just wanted that pink gamer a room almost. So that's what we did for her. <laughs> And then when she starts her YouTube, you know, of course, this area here will grow as she becomes, you know, better at it. Okay, and then this room over here leads to another little play area for the kids. Um, Amina is starting to get extremely intentional with teaching the children, you know, just so they can have that knowledge that they definitely need before they move on into pre-k she's been lacking in that area honestly because she's just been on her grind so she really wants to be more intentional with teaching them and doing flashcards so she created another little play slash learning area for them so this is also their room when they are upstairs um you know, Amina's just going to be trying to come in here at least once a day with them so they can play, so they can learn, um, things like that. So, you know, they have their numbers on the wall. They have, they still have toys. This is just not about learning. It's also about playing and, you know, just getting along and being, being with the kids. And then Amina can have a seat over there when she's here and just keeping an eye on them if they're just playing. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love this room. I think it's perfect for the three little ones. You know, they, they need all of this play area. They need a lot of room. They need to venture around the house. So that is what I did here. Um, and as they get older, you know, this house, this room will transition into something else. It'll probably be another bedroom for one of them as they get older. And then one will stay downstairs in the twins room. So they will just split up that way. Okay, so coming back out, and last but not, certainly not least, we have Tiana's room. And we have our little preteen room. Um, I didn't want to make it too grown, but as we know, Tiana is extremely mature for her age. So I wanted to create a vibe in her room that I just know that she would love and that she can also grow into. So we're not changing her room um, almost every five episodes or things like that. So. Um, over here, we just have a candle with some plants. We have our backpack, a hamper. Um, she is all into the lights. So we have her headset that she has left in her room. It's supposed to be in her gaming room. Um, and then we have her bed. Um, she has her laptop there and dreaming on the wall. Of course, she loves Aaliyah and Beyonce. Um, so we got those pictures hanging up. And I just love those two pictures because I feel like it goes with the room with the yellow and the pink and then the gray. I love that. Um, okay, so and then over here, we just have like her closet. She loves Cheetah Girl. She loves High School Musical. She's grown, but she's still a kid at heart. Um, and then here we just have a painting. We have her book and a little seating area for when she just wants to read and chill and relax over here. She can. Um, and then she also has like a little balcony area. Um, and I really don't know what to put for hers yet. So I'm still thinking it's just going to remain, you know, a little blank for now. And then she has her own bathroom. So this is hers. So she has just like such a really pretty girly bathroom. And this, here it is absolutely love it um that shower came from Zarela, i believe her patreon um i love her patreon i'll link it below if you guys are interested you should definitely check it out um so yeah here is her bathroom absolutely adore it okay and i think out of every room i really think that tiana's is my favorite and i I think it's my favorite because honestly, hers was the hardest for me to decorate because I wanted to be a preteen, but then I also wanted to be a teenager, but I didn't want it to be too grown and I wanted it to be sort of soft as well. I think that 
um at the end of the day I think I did okay with it I, I really do I really do I, I love how it turned out at the end it took me a very I know I spent at least two hours in this room alone I know I did so um this room I I would say is my favorite probably because it took me that long to to get it the way that I wanted it to be oh and here she has her little you know her little vlogging little camera when um, she starts her YouTube and she wants to do like custom vlogs things like that so they went on and got that for her as well these walls here will be filled with nothing but paintings um by the time that we are done okay so that was the house tour you guys have seen every single room every corner in amina and omar's new home i definitely hope that you guys love this house because i know that i do we are going to do so much in this brand new home i cannot wait um the next episode i think that we may have like a little housewarming and just invite all of our family and all of our friends over so that we you know can just really become a family and start to move on with this new chapter in um I mean, in Omar's life, the next episode is the season finale of Single Mom, and they will be back. Um, of course, they will be back. They will be back with season two, but the next episode is the season finale. So please make sure you tune in. I have a lot, a lot planned for that last episode of the season. As always, in order to know when I post a video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the post notification bell so you are alerted. And please like this video because that will really help me um, grow with my, you know, with this YouTube journey that I am currently on. So please just like this video. It takes you know like two three seconds not even that long just go ahead hit the button hit the button hit it now right now anyway i will see you guys next time with a brand new episode bye guys